Hey, this is Ellie Sue. Welcome to Pharmacy Entrepreneur TV. If you are a past, present, and future pharmacist, and you want to create a business and life you love, this is the show for you. Today, we're very excited to have an Australian pharmacist, Helen, on our show. She is a pharmacist and founder of Alladum. Helen has worked in the pharmaceutical industry for more than 14 years and has a strong passion for creating quality and effective products for the general public. Her solution-driven attitude has led her to develop a novel cosmeceutical brand, Elliderm. As the founder of Elliderm, her goal is to create beautiful designed products which is clinically proven, simple to use, and have multiple benefits to save time and money. Her passion and mission is to help create a healthier world, both mentally and physically. Helen strongly believes that give men a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach him how to fish and you feed him for his lifetime. By providing free education to underprivileged children all over the world, opens up the opportunity to help themselves as well as their families. It is Elliderm's mission to provide food education to 20 underprivileged children each year. Let's welcome Helen. Hello, pharmacy entrepreneurs. How are you all? Today, we're very excited to have an Australian pharmacist, Helen, on our show. She's a pharmacist and founder of Elliderm. Hello, Helen. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me here. Um, yeah, I feel very privileged to actually be here and be your first Australian pharmacist for the interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, so Helen, tell us how did you get into pharmacy and what have you learned from the pharmacy industry? Um, yeah, so first of all, I've learned so much from the pharmacy industry um, and how I got into pharmacy was, um, I guess I enjoyed compounding and I also re- enjoyed retail as well. So pharmacy you know sort of fit in because my parents also wanted me to do something with you know and be in the medical field so I kind of ticked all those boxes so for me that's sort of how I got into it um yeah so it's yeah it's something I've always um I've always enjoyed doing I yeah it's it's been good yeah um so have you learned uh, what skills are uh strengths or what have you learned from being a pharmacist for 14 years what have I learned from being a pharmacist for 14 years? Um, okay, so I was really showing my age for starters. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so I've learned a lot actually. I've learned, um, I've always been in retail. I've never been in hospital. Um, I've just never really found hospitals for me. Um, I'm not sure why. I've enjoyed retail. I, enjoy, I do enjoy the customer interactions, the, the um, customer, you know, um, just customer service. And I also enjoy looking at um, all the new products that come in. Um, so I always get really excited about all the new products that come in. I don't know why. Um, it's um, every time when the new product comes in, it's like opening up a new box of presents. It's just weird. And um, yeah, so it's, it, and I've learned, um, so over the years, I've learned that customers who um, actually come in for skincare products, um, yeah, they have always, I've, I love going to that section. I love helping people out in that section. It's, yeah, it's one of my passions. Hmm. Great. So, um, yeah, you mentioned about the skincare products. So, how did you start? Um, why did you start Alliderm? Um, so, there was a few reasons why I started Alliderm, and um, one of the reasons, well, the main reason why I started Alliderm, um, was really because I felt like each time a customer comes in, you try and find, and you're trying to give them a an all round solution. I felt like I had to sell them so many different products, you know, um, you know, and the, I do often get people asking me, do I need all this? You know, is this all this, is all this necessary? Um, yeah. So that's why I guess I wanted to give some people like, you know, people a solution where they didn't feel like, you know, they had to buy so many different products. You just need to use, you know, a simplified skincare routine and that's it. You, you're done. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so you, you mentioned that um, being a pharmacist, um, working at Elliderm, 
that you feel that there's an advantage being a pharmacist to be able to reach out and actually talk to your clients and teach them about skincare and identify the potential skin problems as a pharmacist. Um, so tell us a bit more about that and the work that you're doing now. Yeah, so it's been quite exciting. I've been getting a lot of questions where people, you know, message me and they ask me, is this suitable for me? I have this condition or, you know, I've just had a baby or I'm pregnant. Um, so I still feel like I am still doing my everyday pharmacist role, um, but just in a different setting. Um, and I get to talk to people about topics that I'm really passionate about. Um, yeah, so it sort of like, I never sort of expected it to be this way, but it sort of gradually sort of like, you know, turned out to be this way. And I'm really glad it, it did because it sort of allows you to transition your skills from a retail setting into an online setting. Um, so you're not, so you're never sort of losing, you know, you, you never sort of lose, lose your knowledge. And in fact, I feel like, you know, I need to continuously build on that knowledge um, to actually provide people a better service. Um, and yeah, so for me, I feel like this has a huge scope for, for later down the track where, you know, um, where we would be looking to, you know, have on more pharmacists to actually help out answer all the customer questions. Um, and that's how we sort of want to differentiate ourselves between other brands as well is actually have um, pharmacists, you know, look at your skin um, you know, condition, if you want to call it a condition, but I don't like to call it a condition because it's not really a condition um, to me as such. It's just, you know, I mean, every all, otherwise we would all have a problem, right? And I think we do. So, um, yeah, so it's it's really just to have pharmacists look at, you know, um, look at your, your, your skin and give you a solution or, you know, and if we feel like another brand would have a better um product to help you then we would recommend another brand um if we feel like you know uh, a dermatologist would be better to help you at this stage and yeah we would definitely recommend you see a dermatologist first for sure right i i can really see that as pharmacists that we and we can still do what we do best and provide the clinical evidence-based um advice and service to customers even in a setting like Elderm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so I, I feel like pharmacists have a lot of scope to um, take our skills, you know, like transition our skills from one setting to another. Um, I know that a lot of pharmacy, pharmacists do feel stuck right now, you know, like I do sometimes get text messages from like my old pharmacist colleagues um, asking how I'm going or even when I was sort of still working in the, in the pharmacy, you know, people would ask me, are you still enjoying your job? I mean, like, the grass is never greener on the other side. It's just, um, you know, and I, I see where people are, I see people where, where people are coming from, they sometimes do feel stuck, you know, and they don't want to retrain. But the truth is, you can go into another setting and not have to retrain completely. It's about knowing how to transition your skills. Um, I feel like this is an area where it's very versatile. You definitely can transition your skills from one setting to another. Um, it's just a matter of... Um, planning out how you're going to do it and executing it well, I guess, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and then you mentioned that you're actually passionate about supporting, um, you know, pharmacists who are um, starting a family and wanting to work part-time role. Um, so what's your vision for, for this, this role for pharmacists? Yeah, so that's where, that's where the whole online thing came. Um, like, you know, that's, that's, a, that's another reason why I thought, it would be really great to actually have pharmacists on board to, to actually provide, um, you know, uh, the customer service as well. It's because one, they're already well trained um, with, you know, and have all the skincare knowledge. And secondly, if you're wanting to stay at home and work from home, um, this role actually allows you to do that and still be with your, you know, like your, your young family. So if you have like a two year old or, you know, a newborn and you wanted to, take up a role that where you don't lose all your skills um, I feel like this would be perfect for it and that's um and if I can actually achieve that in the future or in the near future I think you know that would definitely be a massive tick off my list and I would feel really really happy if I'm able to do that someone is actually be able to provide them that flexibility have their family keep their knowledge still feel like they are contributing to something worthwhile worthy because um, sometimes you know, as a female, it's hard for you to 
try and balance everything, you know. Mm. Um, and yeah, if you can do that for someone, I think that's I think that's gold. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. Thank you so much. And, you know, I'm sure all the pharmacists um, that are listening right now, they're very, they'll be very excited to actually come and talk to you after this. Um, yeah, no, I, I, yeah, I think, I, I think it's, it's good if they can, you know, even if more businesses could do that for, for females or even for males who actually want to stay at home to be a, be a home dad, you know, like, I feel like in today's day and age, you can't just restrict it to like stay at home moms because you could actually have stay at home dads and that would be perfectly fine. Like, Good idea. Well, sounds like it's open for male pharmacists too. <laughs> That's wrong. I feel like in today's day and age, you can't discriminate, you know, you really can't. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you, Helen. So um, you also mentioned that one thing you're really passionate about is to support underprivileged children, uh, to provide them with free education, teach them how to fish. Um, is, is that right? And tell us a bit about that, what you're doing in the community. Um, yeah, so there's a, a proverb, and I'm sure like many people have heard it before. It goes something along the lines of, um, give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day, but teach a man how to fish and he'll eat for a lifetime. Mm. And I learned that as, as a really young child. I think I learned that in primary school. I'm not sure which class I learned it in, but, and it really sort of stuck with me, like obviously forever. And, um, and it makes sense, you know, like if you could actually help someone, um, you know, uh, or get them educated, they're able to not help themselves, but they're actually help, able to help their families and the communities around them and they will be able to do that for the rest of their lives but if you just give someone money or if you just give someone food for the day um like that's fine too like there's definitely no issues with that at all but i feel like you're very limited to them being able to look after themselves for the rest of their lives so then it's not really self-sustaining so you it's able you know you want to be able to create something that is self-sustaining um so because at the end of the day we are quite limited for resources you know so it's just yeah it's about trying to find something that um that's going to i guess be self-sustaining yeah mm. wonderful well thank you so much helen um so if you can give us advice um what would you give to our aspiring pharmacists watching this show um so aspiring pharmacists um watching this show I would say um, keep on working at your passion, but also the most important thing is find your why, um, because until you know your why, um, you're gonna be running around in circles. Mm. That's all I can say, yeah. <laughs> is really find your why. Yeah. yeah, love it, love it. That self-awareness and self-discovery and truly. Yes, yeah, self-awareness and self-discovery is so important, definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Helen, for joining us today. Um, if we want to know more about what Aladdin's doing and more about you, where can we find you? Um, yeah, so if you could find um, you could find the brand on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and yep, yeah, so you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. It's just um, Ellie Derm, if you put in Ellie Derm, or you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn as well. Okay, perfect. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much, Helen. Um, and thank you everybody for watching today's show. So pharmacy entrepreneurs, stay safe and stay innovative. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ellie, for having me. Thank you, Helen. Bye-bye.